We're so used to going to these marches. We're so used to going to these gun violence memorials that it's just become a part of our everyday life. But first, while the candidates who want to become St. Pete's next mayor debate about what's best for the city, community leaders are sounding off about a growing issue, gun violence. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. Jameson is on assignment. New tonight, we're going in-depth on a spike in homicides in St. Petersburg. Take a look at this chart. Police say they've seen more homicides this year than in the last 10 years, with a total of 28 killings so far. And keep in mind, the year is not even over yet. This topic came up almost immediately in tonight's mayoral debate with the election just two weeks away now. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline heard from both candidates tonight. Plus, she's hearing from community leaders about what solutions they'd like to see to help end this violence. Violent deaths in St. Pete are on the rise. Our overall crime, violent crime statistics are down, except for homicide. The city is sitting at just about 30 for the year. They're stats that represent people who have left behind scarred loved ones. In the past year, I have lost three cousins to gun violence, each under the age of 25. Community advocate Corey Givens Jr. says it's a community trauma that's led to a level of desensitization. We're so used to going to these marches. We're so used to go into these gun violence memorials that it's just become a part of our everyday life. So what can be done? Well, Givens Jr. says change starts with community buy-in. The onus is on us to make sure that our children have after-school care activities to go to, something productive to keep their time and their, their hands busy, making sure that there are career and job training pro programs out there so that folks aren't resorting to crime and violence to make ends meet. We spoke with a local leader who tells us that one way to stop these memorials from popping up all across the city is to provide people with more opportunities. Republican mayoral candidate Robert Blackman says he would beef up policing in the short term to curb violence and focus on the next generation in the long term. Uh, first and foremost, we need to have youth educational opportunities. It's a sentiment he doubled down on during a mayoral debate Tuesday night. That's why I've also pushed for more job programs like after school and summer jobs for our youth. Working in our parks, a mentorship program where teens mentor uh, those in middle school, middle schoolers, Important with those in elementary school. And in a recent campaign promise, Blackman's opponent, Democrat Ken Welch, promised to make St. Pete safer for everyone. And Tuesday night, he pushed that promise while also saying he'd start by focusing on the youth. I want to upgrade our community centers to be empowerment and innovation centers in the community and have a real continuing dialogue with your, our young people as I've been doing for years. In St. Petersburg, Rochelle Oline, ABC Action News. Rochelle, thank you. Meanwhile, to help keep this conversation going, that community advocate you just heard from earlier, Corey Givens Jr., will be holding a community forum next Tuesday to talk about the trauma that violence leaves behind. To learn more about that event, head to our website, abcactionnews.com.